In today's video, I am making homemade samosas and potato skins. Mine are both vegan, but you can choose any ingredients you wish. Tracy Van Der Valk here. My Epicure products, I'm using the butter chicken. I've got some better than bacon, um, better than bacon topper, which is a vegan bacon blend. Uh, but you could use real bacon if you wanted. You just would have to pre-cook it. I've got our turmeric and black pepper in the grinder. And I've got some sea salt. Of course, I've got my steamer. And I've also got the wok back here. And I'm just going to turn that on. What I'm doing is my ingredients are, I've got this, um, like there's literally almost no prep to what I'm doing. This is why I'm really excited and I hope this turns out the way that I have it envisioned in my mind. So I have this amazing blend of um, autumn veggies, just frozen veggies, so I don't have to do any prep and this is why I love this kind of cooking. Carrots, turnip, squash, sweet potatoes, and red onions. So it's sort of like, like that rooty vegetable blend. And um, it's already in chunks like this. I am gonna break the chunks down a little bit once I've uh, had them cooking, but I'm just going to, I'm gonna just pop this whole bag into my steamer for like two minutes. And it's really just to um, get them not frozen and blanched a little bit. So actually maybe I'll do three minutes. Okay, so I've got that going for three minutes, but you could use any veggies you like. I do think um, having some kind of potato or like root starchy vegetable uh, base in here is a good, good idea. I've got a cup of frozen peas. So again, no prep. I've got some little cherry tomatoes and I've got these samosa wrappers. I've got some sour cream that I'm gonna make into something for, for Wes for later. And what else? Oh, and I've got um, some fingerling potatoes. Once my veggies come out of the microwave, my potatoes are going to go in. I've just chopped like half a big onion. So I'm gonna pop that in my wok and get that started. They are simply just not frozen anymore, okay? So those are good. And these are gonna be added to my onions. And um, we're gonna add in the tomatoes and just smash everything a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of a, a softer feel so that there's not so much big chunks. And we're going to add in the peas, the butter chicken, and a little bit of, I haven't decided yet, but either a little bit of coconut milk or a little bit of oat milk that I have in the fridge. So my potatoes are gonna go in. I think I'm going to try six minutes. Off, and then you put your filling in one corner and then you just kind of like fold in a triangle and then you kind of keep folding like this as you go until you get this cute little pocket with all your stuff inside. I'm gonna use our uh, baking sheet with the little silicone liners and I'm just going to put some oil on the bottom and then brush some oil on the top and I'm gonna bake them at the same time as I do my potato skins. Let it sit for about five minutes. By the time we're done, it will be it will be ready. Okay, so I can get my fork in these potatoes, but they're still like the proper shape. So this is kind of what I this is what I wanted. And so what I'm going to do is I'm I'm thinking I should probably just so here's the thing. I know that potato skins you normally use bigger potatoes and you kind of scoop everything out, but I'm kind of thinking that that is probably just as good and it's probably a lot easier. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do. That was six minutes in my microwave and I'm able to keep the skin shape, cut them in half. These are fingerling potatoes, kind of smash it down a little bit. Yes, it's hot and, uh, and have this flat shape. Um, I've got a nice browning going on my onions. And if you don't have our wok, by the way, guys, oh my gosh, you need this. Look at how solid of a, of a piece of cookware this is. I could literally throw this across my backyard and it would, um, you know, it's, it's a heavy duty pan. It is an investment piece, but it is so worth it. If you don't have a wok, I never thought I would use a wok as much as I do, 
but I use it for everything. I'm gonna add my veggies in. So these were just a frozen uh, autumn type veggie mix. So sweet potatoes, turnips, that kind of thing. And I'm going to add that in there. I had just cooked them in my steamer in the microwave for three minutes beforehand. I'm also gonna put my peas in. And it was just to make sure that they weren't frozen anymore so that they cooked quickly. All right, so I'm going to just give that a minute. What I want is I want the edges of those veggies and the peas and stuff to crisp up a little bit. There's a little bit of olive oil in the pan and uh, I'm gonna put my tomatoes in there. So I think they're gonna turn out pretty good. Now we've got our veggies. I'm going to put my package, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put my package of butter chicken seasoning in here from Epicure. I am using um, oat creamer. It smells delicious but this is gonna be perfect. This is exactly what I thought this is going to turn out like. It's got a really um, pungent kind of smell and just that amount of creamer makes it really, um, really a little saucy, but not runny, okay? Now, the trick though is I don't want these big chunks because my samosa wrappers are so small. So I am going to take my Epicure meat separator. I'll just break this down a bit. You see the consistency of that? It is, smells, it smells so good. Mm, it was delicious, so good. And I'm just so happy that I'm able to come on and do this kind of thing with you, have you joining me and enjoying this and uh, you know, from wherever I am. So thank you, thank you for watching. If you're interested in booking a cooking class with me, there is an amazing special this month where you get so much more for free, um, 20 to $70 in fact, on top of what you would normally get from Epicure. And, uh, and if you're interested in joining me so that you can do this too, and enjoy, um, you know, a, a side gig, a, a full-time income, whatever it is that you want it to be. Uh, it's twenty percent off this month as well. Thanks for joining. Bye, guys.
Thanks so much for watching, everyone. If you'd like to order any of the Epicure products you've seen here today, please go to tracyvandervalk.epicure.com or reach out to Tracy at Epi Healthy Cure for any questions. If you'd like to book a cooking class and earn these products absolutely free, then book your date now. Or if you'd like to earn an income while you cook and feed your family, contact Tracy today. There's never been a better time to join us.